right guys, do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some back to school teaching organization. This is part of a collab video of back to school series. I'm gonna put a link down below to a bunch of ladies participating in this collab. But as a teacher, I wanted to share with you two systems that I love. And even if you're not a teacher, maybe you're a student or you're just taking a lot of stuff to and from work and home, I hope that you find this video helpful. The first thing I wanna show is my teacher work bag. I love this Scout bag. I found this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It comes in a bunch of fun, bright colors, which I absolutely love. And my favorite thing about this bag is it's a vinyl. So anything that gets on it, you just wipe it down. I could literally stick this entire bag in the sink and completely clean it. But I also actually don't have a classroom. A lot of you guys want a classroom organizing video. I don't have one. I teach off of a cart. And so I have to bring this bag from room to room. Outside pockets are so critical. CDs in there or just headphones, flashcards, whatever it happens to be. And I love how this front pocket actually fits an iPad perfectly. So it's really easy to transport and it even has pockets on the back. My favorite way, if you have a lot of paperwork that you're transferring, student work, all that stuff, is to have a bag that fits a larger file system. You can find these at any type of office supply store, at Target, anything like that, and you can hang filing folders in it for different classes, corrected work, graded work, whatever it is. Then when you get to wherever your destination is, you can take it out, put it on the desk, and work in it. I find of all the different bags I have, this is the absolute best way to stay organized. I would recommend if you want the bag to be lighter to get a plastic one and not a metal one so it doesn't kill your shoulder, but this is just perfect for me for going around on my cart. I've also had quite a few comments from a lot of you guys who are teaching for the first time ever this year, and probably the single best thing, and I've shared this in an older video that I've ever done in my classroom, is have an egg crate with file folders labeled one to 31. I'm trying to remember who is absent and who needs what, it is so overwhelming, and I did it totally wrong, probably for the first like four years of teaching. I finally realized if you take this egg crate and you put their missing work, if they're gone on the fourth of that month, put their missing work in the number four and they're responsible for getting their work from that bin from the day that they missed. It makes things so much easier. I feel like every classroom should have one of these for each of the different preps that they teach. I promise you, it's a lifesaver. Starting a classroom is so expensive, so all of this footage is from the Dollar Tree, and I wanna show you, if I had a classroom, the things that I would buy that are a fantastic deal from Dollar Tree. Thing number one being the borders for bulletin boards. A few of them are pretty juvenile, but if you get there early enough in the season, they have a lot of options, as well as decals, that sort of thing. Here you can see there's some red and yellow ones. These are fantastic. Something else that really caught my eye that I hadn't seen before was this dry erase board that looks like paper. I think this would be great on a classroom classroom door. Now if you teach the lower grades, they also have these sight words here, or if you're a homeschool mom, I thought those things were fantastic. And if you need posters for your classroom, here you can see, again, this is for elementary kids. Dollar Tree is mostly elementary. They've got the little borders, the alphabet, numbers for your classroom. But they do have posters for some of the older kids. I saw they had orders of operations, shapes. They had a few sciency ones. And you definitely have to dig in this section, but you can find some posters to help round out the walls of your classroom that's probably related to the content area that you teach. Now, if you need a very specific poster, I'm a huge fan of making my own, and the Dollar Tree has those really big foam boards as well as poster boards, so you can decorate your classroom and completely customize it. And it's actually less than a dollar. The white poster board is 50 cents a piece, and the colored is just 69 cents. One of my favorite Dollar Tree buys is also this timer. They come in all sorts of colors. These are so inexpensive, so you could buy them and put them in different groups that are working. They go for two minutes. I use that all the time. And the number one thing for a teacher to buy at the dollar store are reward stickers. You can buy little things that have up to 400 stickers. I've seen some up to 800 stickers. They're pretty good quality, and that's basically all the stickers that I use. And a brand new favorite find for me this year, I picked up several of these, are these different mathematical cubes that you can draw things on, you can make pictures on, you can have games on. I thought these would be a great group project. I was super excited to see those. But definitely don't rule out the Dollar Tree for your classroom needs. They have some great stuff. And I'm sure a lot of things that I haven't even mentioned in this video. 
I would love to hear your back to school tips down below. I just wanted to share these things with you guys, especially for my teacher friends out there. Maybe one day I'll have a classroom again that I'll be able to share with you guys. But I also do have a lot of teacher friends who watch my videos, so who knows? Maybe one of them will want to share their classroom with you guys. Yay! All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out the links down below. Bye, guys.